Spaceship One program was a very demanding one. We had lots of trials and issues with the vehicles, so the mothership, the rocket motor, the spaceship, and we had a lot of luck as well. By the time Mike Melville got to his first space attempt, I'm a pretty firm believer that Paul Allen would have lobbied hard to say, hey, let's end this effort on a high note. Bert Rutan kind of got what he needed out of the program. He'd put a commercial person into space. So I think both those individuals would have been satisfied uh, where the program was. And it took a really big carrot on a platter, ready to go and present it to get the attention of both those individuals to carry that program forward and allow those flights to happen. And, and with it, my chance to get up to bat. So um, without the efforts of people like uh, Peter Diamandis and his team, that uh, I would not be standing here today trying to champion the, the next effort going forward. The space game has to come back to the people, back to private businesses, the entrepreneurs, if it's going to have any chance to flourish. NASA has done wonderful things, the Apollo program was uh, phenomenal, but at some point if it's going to develop and mature and we're going to get reliability and costs under control and really open it up to, to those that have a passion about it, it's got to come back down out of the government hands and into that of private industry. The landscape is opening up where we do see that happening. You have Bert, uh, certainly with Branson, you've got uh, Elon Musk, you've got uh, Jeff Bezos, you've got John Karnak, you've got uh, Pioneer Rocket Plane. Paul Allen is still very much interested in the uh, space arena. So all of these efforts and programs are doing well. They're under some uh, portion of uh, design, manufacturing and development. And they're all financed by well-heeled individuals that don't need taxpayer money to make what they want to do happen. And, uh, if one or two of them are successful, then I think it really opens the door for other people to follow. I'm uh, encouraged by what I see, and I think it's uh, certainly the right thing, and it's long overdue. And all of my friends at NASA that have had their shuttle rides and are looking for a return trip, because that's sort of the common denominator with all these people. They, you go up there once, you want to go back again. They are looking to the private sector to make that happen. We're on the threshold of commercial flights, whatever the FAA landscape might be to allow that to happen. I think that the floodgates uh, start to open up. We're going to see a lot of people flying. The word of mouth experience of going up there is going to be a self-selling market. I don't think Virgin's going to have to spend a whole lot of money marketing this at all. I think uh, other people are going to get into the arena because for this money to be made, competition uh, naturally uh, surfaces and so I think uh, we'll see competing space line operators within the U.S. and soon globally providing these kinds of services and I think in the next five years that's entirely possible and with it comes the hope that we can extend this capability beyond just the suborbital lob shots that we offer to something a bit more extensive. Uh, we can get into orbit and we can put a destination in orbit that is attractive and meaningful for the layperson and I think we're right at the gateway of all of uh, that activity. Aero TV is brought to you by... Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. <laughs>